Is this something I can fail? It is something that you can absolutely fail. Ah. That's going to be heavy. That's going to be hard. That's going to be quick. It is literally like a game then. <laughs> awesome. On my way now to uh, to see the course for the first time. You know, it's going to be difficult, but I'm one not to, to quit on anything. Go on. Oh, that is tough. <laughs> That's properly tough. Um, obviously very excited, more nervous though, I think. Um, yeah, not having a clue what's going to go on. Oh, wow. Right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to be doing? Yep. The boats look heavy. The anchor looks heavy. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> See what happens. The course has been designed to put Jack under the same physical demands and pressures as a game, but at the same time, doing it on a different surface, I think will be the real test. I've got uh, a younger brother called Frankie. He's 17. This is a guy that's literally going to probably take my position in two years' time, <laughs> yeah. He's in the Exeter Academy in the under-18s now, and, yeah, hopefully follow my footsteps one day. Ooh, OK. You couldn't do that one? OK. <laughs> it's going to be a really interesting test, but Jack, although he has all the skills uh, and all the strengths and all the abilities to complete this course, getting through it in 60 seconds will mean it'll basically have to be faultless. Turning the boats over will tax pretty much every major muscle group in Jack's body. And then to be able to do that again and again, so it's not just doing it once. Moving on, we'll be expecting some agility, footwork and speed to weave in and out of the boys. Kicking, Jack will obviously have to hit the space exactly right. Then this section will challenge Jack's ability to basically fight and keep moving forward. Final section, receiving the high ball. It is one of Jack's specialties, but I'd like to see it nail it first time because it will only get harder. Who's going to be feeding me the ball? Me. <laughs> I could go anywhere then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the ball in the bucket, fail. The boy touches you, fail. You miss the kick, fail. And you have to do it all in under 60 seconds. If not, fail. <laughs> fail. <laughs> Players that can perform while under fatigue from a sprint and the maximal muscular efforts are the ones that can turn defeat into victory. Oh my god! Okay. Next one. You can't see my slippers, can you? No. no that's fine. We'll get a cut of those later, don't we? No, please don't. What do you think drives Jack? I think what drives Jack is life, really. It's just about being the best he can be in everything. I mean, now he's a dad as well, so he'll probably want to be the best dad he can be. You show everyone your smile. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's made Jack successful in rugby is that he's never given up. He always been competitive, you know, even, even from a young age. He'd like, like to finish top. You know, he, they don't like being beat. So he's got that streak in him. So he, like, he's hungry for, 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 for winning. 
struggling with the anchor. It's obviously heavy, but when they're digging in the sand, it's doing what an anchor's meant to do. I'm going to pull at that angle. I just rushed it a little bit. Rushed it a little bit, but we'll go again. Aye, I thought I was in. Aye. Ah, come on. Lost my head here now. Lost my head. What was my time then? One minute, ten seconds. Aye. Oh my God. Just trying to not get angry, but I'm very angry. Ah, yay! What the hey. You've just missed it. One minute, three seconds. Just over. <laughs> We're gonna have to go again then. <laughs> sake! I'm never playing rugby again. All it is, it's a simple pass. Simple pass, I'm just not hitting it. You gonna teach me how to pass yeah. rugby, boy? No, I think you're trying too hard. <laughs> relax. Can't relax now, I'm stressed. <laughs> Ricky! Oh. <laughs> My legs are dead. I'm done. Does Jack ever give up? Does Jack ever give up? No. I've never known him to give up on anything. When he was younger, he went for trials uh, for the southwest of England um, at the age of 16, and he could do it twice. And the first year he was allowed to do it, he broke his ankle directly before going for these trials. So the following year, I think it was a month before the trials, he had flu and he was really, really poorly in bed for two weeks, didn't eat, lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of muscle, hadn't done any training, so it was quite unfit. And he didn't want to go. And she said to him, just don't worry about it. You're not feeling 100%, but just give it your best shot. When it came to the very last play of the last game, he did this fantastic chip up in the air. He ended up kicking a ball behind the scrum, ran around, caught it, done a cracking try. And I just remember all these parents around me saying, who was that boy? Who was that boy that did that? And I can remember thinking then, well, if, you, if that doesn't get you through, nothing will. Let's go again. Come on. Seven seconds. Last one done it. Oi. I go for that. Well done. Jack will definitely beat the course because it would kill him if he didn't. <laughs> That's why. Thank you. That's the last time I'm ever seeing this course again. We're finished. We're no longer friends. Come on. Oh.